Hey yo, what's up guys, this is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we'll be building the M2 Bradley. Now this is an infantry fighting vehicle, or an IFV, and I believe it served in the Persian Gulf War and in Iraq. And this is what it looks like, it is equipped with a tow or a stinger missile launcher right here, it's in the activated position. Uh, usually it's down here, but then when it gets ready to fire, it moves up like that, so I like the way it pops out like that. And it also does have a 25 millimeter machine gun in the center. So it's not really a tank, it's an infantry fighting vehicle. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much design. Uh, it's in the desert color scheme like the rest of the vehicles. And let's build this thing. So first thing we do, let's add the flooring. So I'm going to use sandstone slab. We're going to have it a half slab above the ground like this. And we're going to make it three blocks wide and uh, eight blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight and fill in the rest of it like so uh, for the tracks i'm going to use stone brick stairs and we're going to have it start off in the front like this facing forward and just kind of line that up all the way to reach the back part like this and then we're going to add a stone brick slab right there on top so it kind of curves like that and also one in the front. Then let's do the same thing for the tracks, adding these stone brick stairs like so. Then stone brick slabs on the sides, or well, the top, <laughs> the front and the back, I mean. And let's add another stone brick stairs in the back, like this, going upwards. So that's pretty much it for the tracks. And now let's add this part right here. Select the sloping armor. Uh, we're going to take sandstone stairs, just have a row in the front like this. On the sides, we're going to use stone brick, rather smooth sandstone blocks, all the way around the sides. And why am I placing over there? Oh yeah, because these stairs are like hollow. Okay, so after we do that, we're going to go to the back, and we're going to take sandstone stairs, add two upside down, or rather three upside down in the back like this so it kind of like slopes upwards like this and we're going to add an additional layer of smooth sandstone block now this one's going to be six blocks from the back so one two three four five six to fill in the back part then let's add the back tail lights i'm going to use the redstone torch for that bam bam then let's add these side detailing. So I'm going to use a wooden button, just go across the sides on this upper smooth sandstone layer, both sides. Now the lower detail, we're going to use tripwire hooks. And we're going to start off with the first uh, smooth sandstone block and do it every other block. So that it should be about four down there. All right, so next we're gonna take a sandstone uh, slab, just add two on the sides in the front, like this. And then after uh, sandstone stairs facing outwards, like so. The middle, we're gonna add um, this birch wood uh, planks, I believe that's how you call it, yeah. Just have two in the middle right here. And on this side, smooth sandstone block, and this is supposed to be a vent on top. And we're gonna add a layer a row of three in the front of that smooth sandstone block. In front of that is a layer of uh, s <laughs> stairs like that. All right, so I guess we can fill in the rest of it with smooth sandstone block. You could add an interior right there, but I'm not going to. So next, let's add the turret itself. Now we're gonna take smooth sandstone block, add it right behind the middle birch wood plank like this and we're going to extend it so that's three blocks long so one two three then we're going to take uh, sandstone stairs add one in the front on the sides two of them uh, this corner here it's going to be facing outwards like this and then the one behind it's going to be facing upside down like this so it kind of curves up so just place it on that uh, the other side, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to use a uh, smooth sandstone block. Fill in this area first. And then we're going to take sandstone slab. Just add two 
so they kind of raised up the upper slabs and we're gonna add this uh, missile launcher I'm gonna use a dropper for that behind it smooth sandstone block we can place it right and we're gonna cover it up with a gray carpet like so which we have to crouch down to place it so that's our tow missile launcher uh, we can also add uh, this thing <laughs> I don't know what's it called but it's gonna be another brick slab uh, right there behind it it's gonna be a wooden trap door like this and skip one in the middle and another one on the other side that like doors get up uh, you can arrange it so that they open the right direction like this so if you guys wanted to you can actually pop a hole in there and put a guy in there but I'm not gonna add any interior so I'm just gonna cover that up all right, so let's add the lights in the front. So go take item frame, just add one to the sides. Like that, place a white stained glass block inside of it. And that's our uh, headlights. So next, let's add the machine gun, 25 millimeter. It's just uh, two dark oak fence gates like this. Pretty easy. And uh, right in the back of the turret, we're gonna use upside down nether brick, I mean, sandstone stairs so just have three of them like that behind it it's gonna be like a little hump we're gonna make that using sandstone slab like this three blocks across all right so next let's add our antenna so we're gonna take iron what's called iron bars we're gonna have one in the middle so that's gonna be three blocks tall and then we're gonna have another one on the side so just try to place it right here and make that three blocks tall as well. Uh, I, ideally, it would be right here, but this thing's sort of blocking it, so I wish I could add this part. So that is just a smooth sandstone block on top of this upside down sandstone stairs with a stone button in the front of it. And I guess that helps for uh, viewfinding, I guess. All right, so let's take an examination, you know, inspection, see if we got everything right. And it looks pretty good. So yeah, that is it on how to make the M2 Bradley in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed making this IFB. And if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.